please, God. This is God. If I look drained of energy and emotion, you could take this movie. Ugh, I really did not want to watch this movie the other day. I actually watched most of it the other day, and I finished watching it today. Ugh, I probably will not be watching this movie for a long time. Uh, it's just... The thing about this movie is that it's not even like it's total crap. You know, and I'll get to what I mean in a minute, but it's just a fact, man. Of course, today we're talking about the direct video sequel to Hollow Man, Hollow Man 2. Now, this is a film from 2006, like I said, direct to video. It's a 4.4 on IMDb, directed by Claudia Fan. I don't know what this director has done. I don't know what else he has made. Uh, apparently, a lot of shorts. Did Sniper Reloaded? Did a movie called The Guardians? Uh, very interesting. Sniper Reloaded and Sniper 7. I heard those were like, those direct to video sniper sequels. Because I know there's like a sniper original or something like that. I don't know. I don't, I don't know too much about that franchise, but I think he's made a couple of direct to video sniper sequels. This movie should not have been made, okay? There did not need to be a sequel to Hollow Man. Hollow Man was a movie that did not need sequels. As a matter of fact, for the longest time, I didn't even know that Hollow Man got a sequel. Uh, it wasn't until I seen this movie at a DVD shop or somewhere, maybe at a friend's house, and I'm like, they made a Hollow Man 2? And it, it's just, it's not needed. It's not, it really is not needed. The movie's an hour and 31 minutes, and it goes by at a very boring and slow pace. And the thing about this movie is that, you know, it's not like it's total crap. I mean, the acting, it's not terrible. The way the movie's shot, the way the movie's directed isn't, like, total garbage. The story, I mean, it's not really the most interesting. I mean, there's still some... If you look at it, there's not, like, terrible, awful things to be acting and the atmosphere. As far as those stuff go, and direction, the way the movie's shot, the way the movie looks. There's nothing really wrong with that stuff. I mean, the characters... They're not terrible. I think that what was missing from this movie was motivation and energy and, you know, wanting to make this movie. I think this, the director and the actors, they just weren't putting that much energy into this movie. And I don't know. This is obviously a rant, but I can't say that the acting was terrible or that the you know, the atmosphere, the direction was terrible. But I can say this, this movie was just a very blasé, very uninteresting, um, unenergized, just waste of time. This movie is a waste of time. There should not be a Hollow Man 2. I'm probably going to be saying that a lot throughout this video, because I'm a big fan of the original movie. I mean, the original movie, I really enjoy and the fact that they changed stuff up in this movie, and the fact that, you know, they make the, about the halfway part of the movie, from there on, it's pretty much a chase movie, with, like, the police and this, like, secret group of scientists chasing these two people, and the Hollow Man chasing them. Why that's in the movie, I don't know. I don't know why they went that route. Um, I'm guessing... From seeing the little bit of the featurette that the movie got, which is freaking bullcrap, this movie, I think it also has a commentary. Uh, no, it doesn't. Surprisingly, it doesn't. It has uh, three featurettes and storyboard gallery. Way too many features for this movie. This movie does not deserve that many features, okay? 
I thought I had a commentary. I was about to freak out for the freaking commentary. Because this movie does not freaking deserve to have a commentary. And three featurettes. Why? This movie doesn't freaking deserve it. The movie is pretty much about... I mean, it takes place, I believe, three or four years after the original. You've got this detective and his partner investigating these murders and there's this secret group of scientists involved as well and there are these scientists getting killed off one by one and these detectives trying to figure it out and pretty much the detective his partner gets killed and he has to look after the suspect who is also a scientist and she knows about this invisibility stuff and they mentioned the first movie, but it's, like, very minor. They say, oh, yeah, about three or four years ago, there was this incident that happened with people getting killed and stuff like that. They mention, like, one time. <laughs> one freaking time. And I'm like, great. So thanks for showing respect to the original. Just mention it one freaking time. And, like, very quick. Just, oh, yeah, that happened about four, three or four years ago. That's it. You know, that's about it. And this movie, apparently, there's about three hollow men in this movie. Three. Not just one hollow man. As you, actually, as you can see in the front cover there, you got hollow man versus hollow man. Which actually is a good sounding idea, but they barely use it in the movie. It comes in at the last minute of the movie, and they fight for literally maybe two minutes. I thought it was going to be like, the Invisible Detective versus the Invisible uh, Christian Slater. I mean, you know, can you imagine that? I mean, an Invisible Man is a good guy versus the bad Invisible Man. Them having a fight, it'd be a pretty cool idea. They could use the invisibility to their, to their own strength. They could, like, they're fighting in the rain. One of them could not get in the rain and the other one couldn't see the other Invisible Man. Like, it's just a interesting idea, the way that it sounds, and on paper it's an interesting idea. To have an uh, invisible man versus an invisible man. That is a cool idea. But when you introduce it at the last minute of the movie. And you have them fight for maybe two minutes. I'll give it probably this. Three minutes. It ruins it. It could have been a great idea. It could have been a fun idea to have in the movie. But it's just ruined because it's, they barely fight at all. And the second invisible man doesn't come in until the last minute of the movie. And... Where was I? Oh yeah, the detective. This is where I was really drawn away from this movie. The last part of this movie, which is very boring, is a chase between the cops chasing the detective and the suspect, and these group of scientists, these secret scientists that are working with the police to help track down the detective and the suspect. This professor lady. Uh, Laura Reagan Maggie. Uh, also, you got Frank Turner played by Peter Finelli. And Frank and Maggie, they're on the run. The cops are after him. The military is after him. The scientists are after him. And Christian Slater, the hollow man, or Michael Griffin in this movie, is after them as well. And before I even continue, Christian Slater as the hollow man. You know what, at the beginning of this movie, I thought he was playing, like, Sebastian's character, only they couldn't get Kevin, they couldn't get Kevin Bacon back. You know how they do that in sequels, and sometimes prequels, like Dumb and Dumber, or, what is it, like, other sequels that get characters back that are played by different actors? That's who I thought Christian Slater was playing, was Sebastian from the original. But no, he's playing a different character. But he's trying really hard to sound like Kevin Bacon's crazy character from the original. He's saying similar stuff. He's acting the same way. He curses the same way. He's pretty much trying to be a carbon copy of Kevin Bacon's psycho character Sebastian from the original. And it doesn't work. It makes the Hollow Man in this movie seem like a copy. Seem like a phony. It just was not well done. Christian Slater's been in movies that I've enjoyed. He's done good performances in other movies. But in this movie, it was just pretty bad. It was just, either it was over the top, 
really over the top acting, or was forcing lines out, or he's just trying to be Kevin Bacon again. It didn't work. And the fact that the end of the movie is a freaking goose chase with, oh yeah, driving around for about 30 minutes, avoiding cops, avoiding the hollow man, avoiding over here to the scientists, it just, it does not match the movie. It does not match a hollow man movie. The original movie was about the scientists having a scientific breakthrough with invisibility, and they use their first human test subject, they break through, it works, but it ends up failing because, you know, he goes psycho. It wasn't about the police, and it wasn't about this goose chase and stuff like that. You know, it was about the lab, and the atmosphere, and the fantastic special effects the original had. And, and I'll get to that a little bit later on, but let me get to the story first. So, you had this goose chase going on. And... They find this, like, third invisible man, or the second invisible... No, he'd be the third invisible man. And I guess he's, like, a test subject that, you know, now has, like, cancer and stuff all over him because the serum eventually, you know, results in that. And they find him. He gives them a little bit of exposition. And then, literally, Christian Slater comes in and hits him. The detective and the girl get out of there. Then you never see the freaking you never see that other invisible man ever again. And then the end of the movie, you pretty much got the detective character becoming the fourth invisible man. Like I said, you have invisible man versus invisible man. And the professor girl, she gives Christian Slater's character rat poisoning, and he gets poisoned, and the detective pretty much has like a freaking pull or something like that. And just stabs Christian Slater, kills Christian Slater. And the detective guy is still invisible, and now it's up to the professor girl to, de to develop this uh, cure for this invisibility. And that's pretty much the end of the movie. So I don't, I just don't freaking get why there's a Hollow Man 2. What did this movie do that answered any questions from the original, that did any continuation from the original? And did anything interesting. You know, it's just not interesting. It's it's very, very slow-paced mo movie. You know, very boring. Um, it doesn't have a lot of emotion to it. The actors are barely acting. The director is putting in this atmosphere. It's not terrible, but it's just kind of blah, blasé whatever -ish atmosphere and I, I don't know it's just hollow man 2 this should not be a sequel like this there should not have been a sequel to hollow man hollow man 2 is direct video crap that's all hollow man 2 is but anyways guys thanks for watching my review or rant on, on hollow man 2 it sucks it's horrible but anyways guys thanks for watching the review and I'll see you guys later. This, there should not have been a Hollow Man 2. It was an unneeded sequel. Anyways, guys, the Explorer 4 out.